Welcome back to another episode of the Azure Enablement Show. Today, we're going to talk about how you can save money using the Azure Savings Plan for Compute and how you can apply it to your environment. Welcome back. My name is Thomas, and I'm here with Obina to talk about the Azure Savings Plan for Compute, how it works, and how you can apply it in your environment. We already did two videos on the Azure Savings Plan for Compute. One is the introduction, where we explain a little bit more how it works. And then we also did one on understanding the Azure Savings Plan for Compute recommendations, so you can see how the recommendations work. Um, if you want to learn more, we have a great demo at the end of this session. And also, check out the links below in the description um, if you want to learn more about this. So, Obina, before we jump in um, into actually how it is applied and how it works, can you remind our viewers who haven't probably like seen the Azure Savings Plan com for Compute before uh, what it is? Sure. Thanks, Thomas. Uh, the Azure Savings Plan uh, for Compute is a new flexible savings benefit that we announced last year. Um, you make a monetary commitment for one to three years. In exchange, you get discounted pricing on a large selection of uh, compute services. Awesome. So um, obviously, uh, that sounds very interesting to a lot of customers. Uh, saving money is always a, a good thing. Um, so if I'm interested in purchasing the Azure Savings Plan for Compute, where can I find it? Sure. Uh, you visit the Azure portal and just search for savings plan in the search bar and uh, you'll be able to access it. That is awesome. So one of the questions we get a lot is, um, how does the savings plan apply to the customers in compute environment after they purchased it? So Wina, can you explain us a little bit how that works and how it's calculated and how it's applied to the customer's environment? Sure, absolutely. I'd love to do a demo and show you how uh, it works. The savings plan, it's an hourly benefit that you purchase for one or three years. And in exchange, you're getting access to discounted rates for a large collection of eligible resources. The discounts are off list price, um, so it's not a discount off um, any already discounted prices. They're off the list prices themselves. And the way we do this is we look at your usage every hour and we say, what resources did you use during that hour that had the greatest or the largest uh, savings plan discount and we apply the benefit to that first. This is a way that we maximize the benefit um, for you. And we work our way down um, uh, along the you know, highest discount all the way to lowest discount or until your eligible usage is fully consumed. And at that point, the billing goes to um, your bill at your regular pay as you go rates. So let's see, look at how this actually would work. So in this example, um, we're going to make it super simple. Uh, this user is using three different VMs, uh, and these are the quantities that they're using over this period of time. So this is in this specific hour, it's three VMs, five VMs, and four VMs, respectively. Um, you can see that the prices from a pay go from a pay as you go perspective, these are the list prices uh, uh, that the customer has. And now in this particular case, this customer has a 5% discount. So let's you know, uh, apply that 5% discount. You can see on screen uh, the discounts that uh, have been applied and this is what the customer's actually being billed. Now we understand, at this point, we understand what their pay as you go pricing looks like and the total is a little bit more than $10. Now let's talk about how what happens with the savings plan. We have discounts for savings plan at the different product level and so in this case, all three products have very similar discounts, 54.94%, uh, 54.93%, and 60% discounts uh, for that last product. And so you can see that the prices are, again, off the list price. And so those are the, those are the discounted prices for savings plan. The highest discount would go first, and so that would be that 60%. The second is the 54.94, and lastly, it's 54.93. That's the order of the benefit, greatest discount to lowest discount, and we have it. And so let's now walk through a scenario where this customer has a $4 hourly commitment, and this is their usage. So again, 
we look at this and we say the first product that they that is eligible for the discount is DC 32 AS. It has a 6% discount. And what are we doing here? We're basically saying there's four, four units of that and the price is a little bit more than 60 cents. And so you say four times 60 and change, it's $2.42. We know we have a $4 commitment, so we can fully cover that usage for that product in here. Um, and we've consumed $2.42 out of our $4. That leaves us with $1.58. Okay. Now we've fully covered that first product. What's the next one? The next one is going to be B20MS because it has a 54.94 discount. Same sort of math, the quantity times the price gives us $1.12. Again, we $1.12 is fully coverable because we have $1.58 left in our benefit. So when you add that um, $1.58 to the previous amount we've used, we've now consumed $3.55 of our $4 commitment. We still have 45 cents left over and we've covered two of our products. The last one has a discount of 54.93. It's the third, so let's go ahead and apply that discount. Now we know, uh, based on the quantity and the price, we would actually need a dollar and seven cents to fully cover it. We don't have that, we only have 45 cents available, which means we're covering approximately 42% um, of the usage for that hour, okay? At that point, once we've covered it, we fully consumed the $4 commitment, there's no money left over, but we still have um, uncovered usage. Okay, there's 57% of the usage for that last product, which was not covered. And we're gonna build that as pay as you go. And so the math on that leaves us with approximately a dollar and 30 cents because we're applying 57% um, of, the, of the five quantities, multiply that by the price, it's a dollar 30. So at the end of the day, let's look at what happened here. Um, Without savings plan, my cost was uh, $10.38. Now I made a $4 commitment to a savings plan, and then I incurred a, an additional $1.30 in on-demand charges. So my total, the, the savings plan plus the on-demand charge comes in at $5.30. So as you can see, I've saved $5 in approximately eight cents, which is about a 49% savings. It's pretty good. And that's it. That's how we do our benefit application. Awesome. Thank you very much, Rubina. Great explanation about how the Azure Savings Plan for Compute uh, gets applied to customer environments. So if customers now want to learn more, uh, where do they go? Uh, they can visit the URLs that are on the screen right now, as well as in the description of this video. Awesome. So thank you very much, Rubina, for being here today. And also thank you uh, to everyone watching. If you want to learn more about the cloud adoption framework, make sure you check out aka.ms adopt.